glad you could be here. I'm Tamsin Fidel. Well, before there was Hamilton, there was In the Heights, the first Broadway musical from the mind of Lin-Manuel Miranda, held back a full year by the pandemic. Now the wait is finally over. Lights up on Washington Heights, up at the break of day. I wake up and I got this little punk I gotta chase away. Pop the grate at the crack of dawn, sing while I wipe down the awning. Hey, y'all, good morning. It is a movie musical of end of the year, certain to be one of the biggest movies of the summer. In the Heights is a love letter to a New York City neighborhood, starring Anthony Ramos in a star-making turn as Usnavi. It's the story of the mostly Latino community in Manhattan's Washington Heights community during a very hot summer on a, quote, block that was mostly disappearing. The Broadway show won four Tony Awards, including Best Musical. It's about regaining hope and perhaps a perfect film for this moment in time as New York City and the world begin to come back to life. So let's get to it. Not long ago, it would have been almost impossible to believe, but for two years in a row, arguably the biggest movie of the summer comes straight from Broadway. Right, Paul? That's right, Tamsin. The wait is over. Last summer, Hamilton helped so many of us get through the pandemic. And now, after a COVID-19 delay, the film version of Lin-Manuel Miranda's first Tony-winning hit, In the Heights, is finally here. I got to chat with the stars prior to the June 11th premiere in theaters and on HBO Max. I am Usnavi, and you probably never heard my name. Reports of my fame are greatly exaggerated. Good morning, Usnavi. I got to see you a few years ago play Usnavi at the Kennedy Center, and you were so good. And I remember saying to you, you got to do this on Broadway, but hey, you you want up that. You're doing the movie. It, it's just, it's a dream, you know, like, and also to be able to share this with, like, people I love, too. My mom is in the movie. My sister's in the movie. You know, um, like, that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff is so special to me, and and um, you know, and you know, as much as it would have been amazing to play the role on Broadway, it, it was really special to play to play this part in the film version, man, and to actually be filming in the streets in New York, and to actually like, you know, be getting after it, you know, for for the five months that we we did working on this movie. Um, it was a dream, man. It really was. It really, really was. Um, it was one of the best experiences I've ever had in my whole life. What do you connect to about this guy, Usnavi? He's just a guy in a bodega. He has a crush. He's trying to figure out his future. What, what, what do you connect to about him? Aren't we all just a guy working somewhere, or a person working somewhere who has a crush just trying to figure everything, right? Like, aren't we all, to some degree, that person? We could say right there, that's how I relate to him. But I mean, you know, he's a dude that loves his family. You know, he cares about cares about his, his family. You know, he cares about his community. He reminded me of this dude who, this 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 man who, who ran this bodega around the corner from where I, I grew up. His name was Leo. And Leo, like, Leo knew all the gossip, he knew everything that was happening on the block. Everybody was coming in and out of his store, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Leo was, uh, you know, he was giving candy to the kids, you know, all that, all of that. So he was like that dude that you looked forward to, to seeing when you came into the bodega. It was like that little piece of like joy. And yeah. um, I think Usnavi represents that in spite of like whatever he's going through in his own life. Um, you know, he's like, he's just like this beacon of, of hope. And what's so amazing is that he does, he's not even the kind of guy that would see himself as a hero or see himself as like a lead per se, right? Of anything. It's just like, yo, I'm just like, I'm just trying to make it out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make it out here. I'm trying to say what I see, you know, through these songs, through this verse. And I'm just trying to like bring out into this world.